The highly successful Super Rugby competition started way back in 1996. And tonight we kick off the 28th edition of this outstanding tournament. Tenekoto to Lofa, Malolele Bulla, and welcome to Christchurch for the blockbusting season opener between the Crusaders and the Chiefs. Joined tonight in commentary by former All Black Justin Marshall. Fines! Six! So Weber gets it in. A little bit of pressure coming on the scrum, and Weber couldn't get a hold of it. The referee put the arm up one way, then changed it. And the Crusaders scrum wins an early battle. I'll stay straight. First chance for points in the season, and Richie Moonga has pushed it away to the right. 22. Opportunity missed early on. Snapped up by Sokula. He pops it up nicely for Weber. And Jacobson works it away for Leonard Brown, standing in the tackle. Hands it off to Ross as the Chiefs have possession inside Crusaders territory. Weber away. Sokula again. McKenzie. Kane turns almost intercepted by Reese. He knocked it on in the process. Referee playing an advantage here as Weber waits. And in fact, it's been stolen by Jack Goodyear out of a ruck. And so thus a penalty. Moonga had an early chance. Now McKenzie to give the Chiefs the early lead in the game. And his kick is also away. Just when you give me the 20, let me know when he goes over as well. So Cullen Grace is gone. Fletcher Newell is down again. So the line-out throw, this time successful as Taylor peels around. Tries to bust the tackle of opposite number Tokiaho. Another penalty coming for the Crusaders. Moanga decides to have a crack with a drop kick. And the first points of the season come by way of a drop kick. 3-0, the Crusaders lead. Up the back, a double advantage. Two players not rolling away effectively, so Richie Moonga recognised that he was going to get a shot at goal anyway. He decided to do it with a drop goal and was accurate enough. Bit of hesitation one way, then the other. In the end, the kick made across to Coombs Fabian out on the right wing side. Nice work, got it off to Stevenson. Danger time here for the Crusaders. McKenzie taken from behind by Leo Woolley. Probably a try saving tackle. Loose pass out into midfield. Waiting for it is Soa Kula and the big man in possession. Yes. There it is again for Weber. Works it off to Kane. Right out in front of the goalposts here, the Chiefs. As Weber again, McKenzie. Away for Leonard Brown. Coombs Fabling drops a little kick in behind. And nice work by David Avili as he controlled it across the touchline, but he might have been hurt in the process. Really nice little interchange. Coombs Fabling and Stevenson got them into space. Good decisions made. Excellent covering tackle from Christian Leo Willey. Although it may be on the chief side, it is too. So Samasoni Takiyahu plows his way through a couple of tackles, makes it to the 22. Now Weber away for McKenzie. Ball dropped by Coombs Fabling, almost snapped up by Reese. Play on, says the referee. So Coombs Fabling goes back to recover. And the ball is there, it's been snapped up again by Reese. Now Eli Marlow going back. He's being chased down by Eno, who's quick. Keeps looking to get players back behind the ball, and who better than Brody Rattel? Big Brody got back. Did so well. But I think the Crusaders have grabbed possession here, and no, they've got a penalty anyway. Oh, Rattel to get back. What an outstanding effort. Seven, you're in it. It is. It's a tackle, you're offside. Cynical, you played the ball. Oh, cynical. First yellow card of the season. Sam Kane. There it is here. His, body, his body language showed it, Sam Kane. Chiefs defending with 14 now. He's there again for Drummond. Ball is out, ball is out. And away goes Blackadder. Five metres out. Now Dunshay pops a pass to Havili. David Havili gets the opening try of the season. Output tap from the Crusaders. 
It looked like the Chiefs were being incredibly disruptive at the breakdown and might have stifled their momentum. And the line from Harvini from depth with power was just too good for the Chiefs to handle. Yeah, it was beautiful work. Accelerated really, really quickly. And then as he got the ground, he was able to reach out. Going hard at the defence in all. Drummond again, Leo Willey. Getting involved. And looking to plough straight ahead was Fletcher Newell. And held up. Ben O'Keefe right there to say he didn't get the ball down. The big prop forward. Oh, they scrambled so well. Mackenzie waits. Off for Eli Marlow. Now a run down the middle from Stevenson, who's dangerous. Coombs Fabling lurking to the right. And he's pretty quick as well. Flying a Nuku goes back. And the Chiefs have the Crusaders seven or eight metres short of their own line. Weber there again, and Brad Weber's quick. Looks to offload. Kane was there, just couldn't release the pass though. Stevenson in there, playing a penalty advantage. It's so a cooler. Takes it within three or four metres of the line. Stevenson standing over the ball, but not needed. Here's Ritalik. Brady Ritalik, and the Chiefs are in. Brody Ritalik. Talk about some individuals stand up. Sean Stevenson launched the counter-attack, put his foot down, got him into the right position, non to the gap, nice little shift on, three players left in his wake, the Chiefs go in. Coombs Fabling, though, just on his own side of halfway. Again, he's going to run it hard at the defence. Does so, taken down by Fainga Anuku. Weber waiting. Pretty messy in there, but now he's got it. Toki Aho, again, busting a couple of tackles. Sets it up again for Weber. Away for Tupo Bai. Chiefs building up once more. Ioani, first receiver, McKenzie. Out wide to Stevenson, nice little shift. Got it away for Leonard Brown. Hands on Leonard Brown, but he put a foot in touch. Boy, they're looking dangerous. Down the left wing side, particularly. Oh, me, oh my, they are, certainly. It was Scott Barrett that was on point to try and bring down Anton Leonard Brown, who looks like he's suffered another issue with that ankle that he's got heavily strapped. Tokiaho. Crusaders defending desperately. Jacobson again, right out in centre field. Now a short pass for Sam Kane, and he's over. The Chiefs are in, and the Chiefs lead. That was so good from Brad Weber, it really was. He turned and pivoted and looked to be going out the back and instead he hit the short runner. Sam Kane coming from depth. Here's the grounding, short and down. There it is, that's a try for Sam Kane. He celebrates. Now the ball is back with the Chiefs. Away comes McKenzie. Here's Alex Nankerville pushing it away towards the line and Reese going back and Got away initially, and they get trying to drive him towards the touchline. He's done very well, Sebu Reese. Outstanding. He did really well here, Sebu Reese. Oh yeah, not to ground the ball, and he released it and picked it back up. And the strength. As the advantage still applies, Weber again away for Retallick, who has been immense in this game. McKenzie once more, delayed pass for Kane, pops it up beautifully for Nankerville. Now Wilbur back to Nankerville. One last pass will do it. Couldn't make it though. Pouring in Samasoni Takiohu. But numbers right. Got to release it quickly. Now they do. McKenzie has a go. Couldn't get through. Chief putting all the pressure on. Five metres out. Weber looks left and right, goes right to Finau, thumping defence on him. Get a sense this will be a yellow card, Justin? Yes. Yeah, but just watch, probably just not low enough, right? And from that angle, I do have uh, contact with the head. Can you confirm that gap as well? Yep. OK. So, um, so it, Scott, it is a yellow six. card. And if he feels that it is worse than so that... So number six is going to be yellow card. He can upgrade it's to a red, Justin. That reaches a yellow card threshold. So he's going to be going off, and it's going to be an off-field review. Number six. So that's the change. So that sign that he has made, he did not make that sign for Sam Kane because that was just yep. a clear yellow card. 
So when he says an off-field review and makes the X sign, it gets referred to the TMO. So Retallick is going to tap it. Handed away for Finau. And the ball popped. Oh, almost fell nicely. Tipped on. Nankerville. And Nankerville's over the line. And the try has been scored. The ball to ground every time. It confuses defenders. You wonder what happened. The short pass was the one they were looking for. That didn't work. And so, so clever. I think it's from Josh Iwane just to bat it on to Nankerville. It could have broken down, but look at the presence of mine. Bats it on beautifully. So here's McKenzie looking to convert the try. He does so. And it's a healthy advantage on the back of the try scored by Alex Nankerville. As Stevenson looks to probe his way through the defence. And once again, takes three or four players to put him down. Waiting for it is Ratama. Playing in a penalty advantage. Carried up by John Ryan, the Irishman. Another advantage coming here. Little jab in behind, but Mwanga's anticipated nicely. And a penalty advantage. And I wonder now, with a 21 to 10 lead, whether the Chiefs might want to take the three, Justin. So, Damian McKenzie. Three conversions so far tonight. Looking to land his first penalty of the evening. And it is over. And the Chiefs increase their advantage. 24 points to 10, 13 remaining. Moanga with the kickoff. Stevenson. Oh, it's gone too far. The platform to attack to the left. Josh Iwane is the first receiver that side. Oh, it's a good scrum too. Not often you see the Crusaders marching back. Iwane going for a bit of a run. Josh Iwane times his run perfectly. And here's a beautiful try. Scored by Cortez Ratama. Oh, I tell you what, and that's put a great, great big nail in the coffin of the Crusaders. An outstanding scrum got them on the front foot. They did go to the left. Cortez Ratama hit Josh Ioane. Look at the footwork and the dummy got on the outside. Lovely offload in the tackle of Willie Hines. And then the big palm from Cortez Ratama. Oh, that's a massive blow the Chiefs have now put on the Crusaders. And that's what Josh Ioane can do, his impact off the bench. And this young man, the talent's always been there. It's finished up with Christie. Now it's loose, flying Anuku. And here's an opportunity maybe for the Crusaders to finish strongly. An inside pass, but into touch they go. And there was a knock on, but it won't matter because the game is over. And the Chiefs have caused a major boil over here in Christchurch. They have outscored the Crusaders 24 to nil in the second half and have won the opener by 31 points to 10.